Welcome back everybody. I'm in the middle of the Griddlemore Tour. It's springtime in the Rockies, which could mean 80 degrees one day and snow the next. But just like with my last video, I want to bring you more of the tour recipes. I want to break them down for you today. I want to show you how to make my famous doggy Colorado Cajun. I developed this recipe last year prior to the 2021 Griddlemore Tour and I've already made well over a thousand servings of this this year. So my idea for this recipe is, hey listen, I'm not from Louisiana, I don't live in the bayou, I'm not a Cajun, I live in Colorado, but if I were to go down there to the bayou and I made this for some Cajun folk, I would like to think that at least they would respect it, okay? So if you're from the bayou, please don't get mad at me, but hey, I met Bruce Mitchell, and uh, he's a pretty cool guy, so you know, maybe some of that rubbed off on me. All right, let's break it down to our ingredients right here, friends. First off, we have the Cajun Andouille sausage. It seems like more often than not this year, this is the brand that we are using. It's a pre-smoked sausage, so fully cooked, so we're gonna grab that. Gonna grab my old friend, the chunky garlic paste and Hannah's behind the camera today so Hannah I'm gonna ask you to just show there that's the old 22 inch Pro Series griddle this is the griddle that uh, came out for Black Friday last year and we're gonna go down with extra virgin olive oil on the griddle top and the chunky garlic paste I love this stuff we're gonna empty a bottle here today friends there we go chunky garlic paste straight down hey by the way this is gonna blow your mind how quick this recipe cooks, okay? Down with the andouille, olive oil, andouille, and garlic. I'm using those brand new Adventure Ready spatulas again. I premiered these things on my last video. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, here we go. So down with the andouille. And the neat thing about uh, Cajun cooking is, boy, you can count on it to have a lot of color. Because as I study Cajun cooking more and more, they have what the, they have what they call the Trinity of Cajun cooking. And here it is. It is a mixture of celery with bell pepper. I'm using red today because I want the contrast and a yellow onion. So they call that the Trinity of Cajun cooking. And we're going to come over here. Hey, a lot of people ask about accessories. You know, you don't have to have any accessory really, right? Except for a scraper and a good set of brittle spatulas. But man, for me, it seems like ever since I came out with the silicone spatula mat two or three years ago, that's my go-to. I like to protect my side shell. Okay, back to the griddle. Olive oil and then down with that Trinity mixture. Okay, we're not measuring anything today because I don't like to measure. That's why I'm not a baker. That's why I'm not doing videos for the Easy Bake Oven. Okay. You can see that sausage is cooking up real quick. Now, we don't want these vegetables to be soggy. We want them to have a little snap in them. Now, on tour, I typically end up using this. It's the Ben's, the Uncle Ben's original ready rice, the kind that says 90 seconds in the microwave. Of course, we're not using the microwave. We're using the griddle. You don't have, some people get angry when I show this. Hey, listen, I cook in the parking lot. We're not, you know, we don't have time to make homemade rice. You can make homemade rice if you want to, but a shortcut, and I've used this literally in probably 15, 20 cities on this recipe. The Uncle Ben's original. So this is great. Here's how we do it. Straight down on the griddle top. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this today, and we're going to see where we're at. I think, uh, I think three bags of rice might work for what I'm doing here. This will be several portions worth. There we go. And then gonna grab these spatulas. Gonna make sure that rice is all broken up. You can see that right there, that mixture of sausage, onion, celery, it's looking perfect and ready. Again, I don't want that stuff to get mushy. We want some caramelization like that. See that caramelization on the veggies and on the sausage, so we want it to look nice. You could almost call this a Cajun stir fry. I've heard people refer to that. And they said, hey, have you seen Todd make the Cajun stir fry? Of course, we call it the Colorado Cajun. Folks, I moved to Colorado uh, 1998, officially. I tried to move out here prior, and it failed, but 1998, 
And so I've been out here about 24 years. I spent my first 25 years in Pennsylvania, which makes me 49. And uh, that's why we call it the Colorado Cajun. Here we go. Looking at beautiful. Look at that, friends. From here, I'll grab a fork. Now again, like I mentioned in my bacon fried corn video, I'm at home, so I can certainly do whatever I want to do. On the road, I'd be using a plastic fork and disposing of them. But here we go. We're gonna go in. I just want to see how hot that rice is already. We're cranked on high heat as well. Okay. Oh, Hannah, come around here. Folks, we showed this off yesterday for the first time ever. Blackstone has this brand, a bunch of new accessories, but this is the brand new accessory bin, the side shelf accessory bin. It's really cool, and I've used this three or four days in a row already. It has these padded magnetic um, buttons on here, and you can set this straight down on your side shelf. Very strong, it won't scratch your side shelf, and you can put all your stuff in there, right? So just another way to keep your side shelf from being cluttered. Now when it comes to spice, you know, there's a couple of options. Blackstone used to have what they call the Crazy Cajun, and they rebranded that recently. Now it's just called the Cajun, so that's a collector's item. But we're going to use the Bayou Blend, and uh, it's great. You can pick this up at a bunch of stores this year. I think Ace Hardware, that's a brand new one today, apparently. Uh, you can pick it up at uh, Lowe's and uh, BlackstoneProducts.com, lots of our resellers. It is a great Cajun cayenne-based spice. Here we go. Straight down. This is what you need. Now, if you don't have Blackstone's Bayou Blend or Cajun, that's all good. You can use any Cajun brand seasoning on the market. But Blackstone's seasonings are out of this world. Okay, I think we're doing well here, folks. You can season that as much or as little as you want to, okay? Um, you know, so here's what we want to do here. If you like it hot, just go crazy. Up next, this is one of my secret ingredients. So when I first um, made this recipe about a year, year and a half ago, um, I made it just like this. So if you look at it, that's kind of what it was like. I tasted it, and I said, man, it's okay. You know, it's like something I would make to eat when I'm hungry, but it's nothing that I'd want to show off. Late about the midnight hour, one night, the idea of heavy whipping cream came to me. And this, this was the difference maker. This is why people talk about this recipe so much on social media. Check this out. So heavy whipping cream, okay? We can put a little more in there in a second if we have to. Then grab any kind of Cajun hot sauce. You got your, you know, what do I have today? I picked up, I got so many hot sauces. I collect them, friends. I got the Tabasco cayenne garlic, the Louisiana brand. One of my awesome subscribers sent me this last year. They make this themselves, the Sanders, the Sanders Kitchen on YouTube. And here we go. See that pretty red on there? We're gonna pull this real quick too, friends, okay? So pretty red Cajun sauce, and then a little bit of parsley in there. I like to go with the curly parsley, okay? Look how amazing that looks. And now, we're gonna try to serve this up right now. You don't want this stuff to sit on there too long, otherwise, you know, it's gonna start to caramelize um, or, in, or um, burn, I guess. <laughs> on the, it's gonna go beyond caramelization. It's gonna go to burn. And so we don't want it to burn on there. So again, we want the veggies to be done. We'd like a little bit of a snap in them though. We don't want them to be soggy. Um, friends, this recipe is so good. Um, this is enough for, I don't know, Hannah's behind the camera today. Hannah, if this was a part of a dinner, like how many portions do you think this would be? I mean, it's pretty heavy. What do you think? Uh, at least four. Yeah, at least four, friends. I guess if you were doing this as a side dish, if you had something else as the main dish, this could even be a lot more. But take a look at that. Let me grab a paper towel. <laughs> paper towel. Try to clean this up a little bit. Uh, let's grab my, my spoon here. You can see all the creaminess right there. Delicious. Um, here's what I'll do next. I'll grab a little bit of lemon and we'll come back here and we'll squeeze some lemon juice. That'll soak down into the recipe. My rationale for this is, hey, when you do one of those cra crazy Cajun crawfish boils that we all love, uh, lemon, right? Lemon's a key ingredient, so that's why we have lemon in ours today, and it just tastes great. I'll sprinkle a little extra of that fresh parsley on top. I'll even hit it up with a little bit of the sauce, and we'll throw a few 
lemon pieces in there as well. This is like a big old version of what we would give you on tour. We'd have a smaller version of this. But take a look at that. So we're gonna portion this up, make sure we get some of all the colors in there, the red bell pepper and the, the sausage pieces on top, something, let me move that around, something like that. Throw one of my little lemon wedges in there, another little tidbit of the parsley, and one more hit of my sauce. Mm. So friends, here we go. Colorado Cajun. I already know it's delicious. And I'm not being prideful, it's just, it really is. I mean, it's delicious, I'll tell you. Oh, look at that steam. Let's give it a try. Heavy whipping cream. Definitely the difference maker in this recipe. I mean, all the flavors are great. It's what you want in a Cajun, Louisiana uh, inspired recipe. But that creaminess, boy, the cayenne at the end, just the, I love the you know the way the red looks on there, but also um, you know it's not just cream, it's not just sweet. There's heat. It's it's sweet heat, I guess. Mm. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me bringing to you a um, scaled down version, an easier to comprehend version of my tour recipe, the Colorado Cajun. Catch me on tour this year. Hey, in the last video, I gave a shout out to the upcoming states. I think I slided North Carolina. We're also gonna be in the Tar Heel State. So make sure you check out facebook.com slash Blystone Products for more information on that as well. And uh, until next time, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass this, the Colorado Cajun. <laughs>